In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature in SimpleSep Smart RIP 5.0. And we're actually up to 5.0.8, and you'll need to upgrade to the 5.0.8 release for this feature to work correctly. And what we've done is under the tools section of the plugin, we've built in a perfect monochrome conversion. Now, this just does basic monochrome conversions, nothing compared to the power or what our color factory does with the monochrome bitmaps. However, monochrome bitmaps are really a critical part of being able to work with color images and color separations for screen printing in CorelDRAW. Also for graphic design itself, bitmaps that you can apply colors to like vector objects based on the perfect conversion to perfect monochrome bitmaps. Now here I have a Humane Society design. This is a very simple design, very common for us in the screen printing industry. I've taken a dog image with simple saps, the face of this dog, and converted it to a monochrome. And you can see down here it has fill and outline properties. And with a right click I can change the color of the dog from a white to a yellow. I'll go back to a white with a right click. And the monochrome bitmaps are left click for the background color and right click for the foreground color. It's reversed from vector. So I'll come up here, left click for a transparent background. We can see how the dog looks with a pink color. So monochrome bitmaps give us the ability to step outside of the world of vector design and into the world of designing with bitmaps, giving us a distinct advantage over those who are just working with vector in the screen printing and graphic design for apparel decoration arena. Now here's the image of the dog and the graphic laid out with what is an RGB bitmap. And I have no fill properties that I can change on this. Right click and nothing is going to happen. I'm going to want to convert this to a monochrome bitmap. Now to do that I'm going to first have to upgrade my simple steps if I have the 5.0.7. I'll go to Simple Seps and we'll open that and we'll see that because I have the 5.0.7 version, it's going to prompt me for an update. Now, best practices, if you have any files, save them before you update. Now, if you don't have this option, I'll hit cancel here. You can go OK here and it'll download and process that update for you. But if you've turned this off, hit cancel here. And you can go to your simple steps and just click here, click to check for updates. Now we built in updates off of our server so that we can offer you updates to your software very easily. And you could also go to your account at advancedtshirts.com and also download this update. But I'll select OK. It's going to prompt me to save that and I'll save that in my downloads folder. It will download the update for me. Once the update is completed downloading, I'll be prompted to install the new version. Once again, you can also download these from your account on advancedtshirts.com. That is the updates for simple steps. If you have anything open you need to save, just make sure it's saved. I'll select OK and that will close Corel and begin to run the installation of my simple steps update. I'll select Yes. Now go to I agree. Correct versions, next, and install. And close, and now I will have updated my Corel Draw, and then I'll reopen my graphic. So then I've updated my Simple Step Smart Rip to the 5.0.8 version. I have my graphic here. Go to my advanced tools, and I'll bring up Simple Steps. It'll check for the update again. We've got the latest version, we'll select OK get my simple steps here and I'm going to go to tool. We're working here with the monochrome bitmap conversion. We have a normal conversion and an inverted conversion. Now this is nothing like the level of tools that we have in the color factory for our monochrome duotone and tritone conversions. However, with simple steps we want to give you as many tools as possible for your color separation, halftone ripping, and all the things that you would need working with graphics for color separation. Now here I'm going to go to this image 
which is the dog. And I'm going to convert this to an inverted monochrome because we're going to be printing on a black shirt. So we use the black of the shirt for the black. One thing we do want to do is inspect our images before we do the conversions. And I'll show you how that works and why. Now I'll zoom in here all the way and I can see I've got gray in here. I've got a couple pixels of gray. That's going to create a line when I do my conversion. So I can either crop the bitmap or I could deal with it after. But I'll go ahead and process this with that line. We'll see the line. I'll click on inverted conversion and that'll process in Corel Draw. We'll see what we get here. Now that's done, you can't really see the image, but it's there. We'll left click, hold down, bring this over. We can see that's an invert of this image, but it's converted to a monochrome bitmap and we have fill and outline properties that we can work with. Right click and I can change that to a red. Now if I zoom in here, I can see this line that came from that line of pixels. Couple of different ways to handle this. I could go with the crop tool and just left click, hold down, create the crop, double click and crop the image. I'll hit control Z and go back. Or if it's a very tight image and I want the data that's here, I can left click from the shape tool, select that line, then use the arrow key to just move that over a bit because all of your bitmaps are actually in vector containers in CorelDRAW. We can zoom in and now see that that line is gone. I'm going to go to the crop tool and I'll just crop this to a size that will be easy to work with for the t-shirt. Double click on that, minimize my simple steps. I'll grab a copy of the t-shirt comp here, left click one time, hold down, right click one time, release that. Then I'll take my dog image, left click, right click, and duplicate that on top of the t-shirt. I'll come over and right click for the foreground color and change that to a white. And now that's a perfect monochrome bitmap that I can use and color separate in Corel Draw along with my vector. And I'll bring my vector objects over here also. And I should have put that on top of the shirt. I'll just lasso select that cut and paste and I'll be back in there. Then I can resize that I can see at the bottom there I have a line also. And we'll take care of that here in just a minute. I'll bring this up to here. For this line here at the bottom, there must have been some pixels there. I'll get my shape tool, just lasso the two bottom nodes and go with the arrow key and just move that up a little bit. Hitting the forward arrow key, and you can see that line is gone now. I'll select this monochrome and just delete that. I won't need that anymore. I'll get the of Westernville text, bring that up here, push it on my center mouse wheel, zoom in, and we'll just resize that to fit with the graphic or the design. Pull back on our center mouse wheel, and we can see, and I got that by accident, I'll hit Control Z to go back. Just lasso this and change the position, bring it down to position a little bit more for the comp. And here I've got this set up as a monochrome bitmap, which I can color separate and halftone through Simple Step Smart Rip 4. So that's the monochrome functionality that's available underneath the tools in the new Simple Step Smart Rip 5. Tools that make it easy for you to convert basic images to the monochrome bitmap so that you can work with them in Corel Draw. And once this is a monochrome, once again, I can take a look at different colors. We've got this on a black. Maybe you want to see what would a blue gray look like for a different color. And this is really interesting for being able to show clients and customers how one color images in their designs can look as different colors. Very easy to monochrome and very easy to color separate. And from here, I just go into setting this up on the page and doing my color separations in Simple Step Smart Rip 5, converting the dog into halftones, I might want to use the choke base feature that we demonstrated in earlier videos for Simple Step Smart Rip 5, and then a white highlight. So that's the new monochrome conversion in Simple Step Smart Rip 5. Very easy to work with. Get some practice with monochromes and you'll find you can do some really great design work very easily, very quickly, working with the monochrome bitmaps. We'll wrap here and we'll see you 
in our next video.